Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Office Hours with Jess. So today I'm going to be talking about a pretty hot topic, I think, for the summer, which is um, I know a lot of people are thinking about applying to grad school um, at this time of year, you know, summertime, that's when people start working on applications. So I thought this week I would talk about how I got into Harvard's PhD program, um, and I even broke out my um, Harvard um, shirt that I never wear for this um, video. So um, I actually want to say that, um, you know, I have a actual blog that or like website that I created. Um, you can find the link um, below um, in the description of this video. But that actually is something I created um, for my students, for, you know, mentees or just anyone um, who wants more information about just the entire process from start to finish um, about how to apply to PhD and specifically public health PhD programs, because I've gotten a lot of feedback or just heard from a lot of students that they just don't know where to start sometimes and I didn't know where to start. Um, so I thought I would just compile like a step by step guide, literally with a timeline of what my experience was like, going through the process of applying to PhD programs. And then, you know, what I thought really, um, you know, stood out to help me get into um, all of the programs that I did and ultimately then choose to go to Harvard. Um, so that's there. Um, again, the link is um, here in the video description. Please check it out if um, you want. Um, I've had students tell me that they literally bookmark my um, website um, and refer back to it as they're applying and thinking and prepping. So um, I, I'm glad that it can hopefully be useful for you as well. Um, so now I'm going to talk about sort of my top kind of three pieces to kind of summarize what's on that blog. Like, you know, I don't want to spend this whole video just summarizing that, but my top three tips. Um, my first tip is to um, go touch the shoe um, at the John Harvard statue now, just well. So you know, I did do that actually. Um, this picture was actually taken after I got into Harvard, but I couldn't find any of these photos. But when I was much younger, I think in like third grade, my parents and I like went on this like Asian East Coast or an East Coast tour with an Asian tour group. And they took us to the Harvard campus and they were like, you know, if you touch the statue, like you or your children will get to go to Harvard in the future. So of course my parents and I like touched that statue all over and maybe I did do something to help me get in, um, who knows. Um, but, you know, that is a little fun myth, I guess, about Harvard. Um, but now in all seriousness, my three tips. Um, so number one, that the hands down, I think most important thing of the entire application process is networking with potential mentors. Um, I think that this is really what helped me get into um, almost all of the programs that I applied to. And that is just finding at least one professor that has some sort of overlap in your research interests and then reaching out to them, usually by cold email, which is totally okay, and asking to have a conversation. And then if that conversation goes well, kind of making that connection of, you know, like I would love to apply and, um, you know, put down that I want you as my um, potential advisor. And you just need one good conversation at each program that you're applying to. And I think that that is key because then when your application flows, like get, gets through the pipeline or whatever, and it's like stacked up against all the other applications, these mentors who are looking for students are going to remember you and your application will then immediately stand out. I think that is totally a key part of you know, the success of applying to programs. So just that's my number one, like that's something that you should definitely focus on. And I, again, talk a lot about this in my blog slash website. Number two, um, the second thing that I think is super important is the personal statement. And I know this for a fact, like faculty, professors, just everyone has told me that this is like the most important piece of your application. Um, and I think, people like think that, oh, you know, this personal statement has to be this like creative story and like people put a lot of stress into that. But I think it's just really a balance of, yes, you want a little bit of that narrative, that story, so that again, your personal statement stands out. But really like you can just kind of straightforwardly talk about like 
here are my very detailed research experiences. Here are some publications. If you have them, great. If not, no worries. But highlight your, your research achievements, you know, and then kind of find a way to tell that in a creative and story-ish like way to give it some like meaning and make it personal. So it's not just a statement. Um, and um, again, I talk a little bit about how I was able to kind of learn how to do that and add a little spice to my personal statement that I get, again, think um, was really well written. And I never say that. I think all of my personal statements have been terrible, except for my one that I used to apply to doctoral programs. So um, again, happy to actually like chat with you all if you ever want to like see my personal statement, I'm always happy to share. Um, third and final kind of like, I think super important thing is letters of recommendation. Um, definitely not as important as the first two, but I think this is another piece of that kind of like qualitative information that will really help you stand out if you get really good letters of recommendation. So I would really think hard about who you're asking and you wanna ask people that know you well and will write you a strong letter and ideally can kind of show that you have a different array of different types of mentors. So don't just get like three people from the same lab, you know, write you a very similar letter of rec, but get three kind of, you know, good, strong, kind of like varying letters of rec that will really showcase everything that you have to offer. So those are my three kind of top three things. Um, I would say that the one thing I would stress the least about is kind of your GRE score, your grades, kind of your miscellaneous extracurriculars. I feel like that stuff kind of gets lost. Like, I don't know. Um, I, I don't think people really look that hard into all that stuff. I know for a fact that, again, networking, personal statement, and letters of rec, those are definitely what you want to focus on. So um, that's kind of like my big advice and how I think I really like, you know, was why I was so successful in my PhD application process. And um, again, all of this is detailed in my blog, uh, which is in the description of my video. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to me as well. Um, but thank you and good luck if you are applying um, this upcoming cycle or some future cycle. And I'm always here if you need anything. Thank you.